exclusive contracted novel by Felu Novel Network. Disciples of the Sky Reliant Kong Tong Is It Not a Pig's Foot, or the First Supporting Role? What kind of three no schools did I travel through? What? Are parents still killed by Xie Sun? Child, strive to learn martial arts and seek revenge for your parents in the future. Bikiniang, doesn't that mean I'm going to be enemies with Xiao Zhang? Mingjiao, such a giant, is so easy to shake. Child, your identity is not simple. The responsibility of overthrowing the enemy lies on your shoulders, and you need to work hard. Shrimp Rice I, I'm just trying to be proud of the world. I'm really Alexander. Can I have done a pig skin with a black face and fierce hands, and a face full of pockmarks and stars? Reverse. Who am I afraid of? Ye is a traveler, even if you are a pig's foot, it will pull you down from the altar. Jun Yang. 3985.15574, if you are interested, you can add it Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 001 Five Elders of Kong Tong You are listening at NovelFull.audio Swizzing Damn it, this villain Xia Sun is simply insane. Five figures chased after a small village and saw the words, Murderer Hunyuan Thunderbolt Han Ching Kuan Yi, written on the wall, as well as a village full of corpses, all with tiger eyes wide open in anger. How innocent are the villagers of this village? How could they be so ruthless? Corpse lay everywhere, blood flowed into a river. Even the dogs in the village were beaten to death, and all their internal organs were shattered, clearly a clever boxing technique. Hmph, this villain used our Kong Tong seven damage fist to destroy others' internal organs and organs, without any obstacles. In just a few days, he had such skills. The leader snorted coldly, last time he came to my Kong Tong to steal the seven damage fist and injured so many of our disciples. Now, if anyone dares to kill someone in our Kong Tong territory, they really think he is the protector of the demon sect. We can't do anything about him. You know, Kong Tong is at least one of the six great sections. Just his words, after speaking them, drew sighs from several others. Wow! In this quiet little village, there came a cry of children. There are still living people. The five of them listened to the voice and argued, using their lightness skills, and rushed towards the sound source. They only saw a woman dressed in gorgeous clothes, and when she fell, a sound came from the spot. They quickly pulled away the woman and picked up the child under her body. This was a child over a year old, wrapped in swaddling clothes, with an antique jade pendant on his neck and a row of characters engraved on it. There were sons like walls, and his father Zhao Lishuan carved them. A few words were carved like swords and knives, the water chestnuts are clearly defined, clearly a masterpiece of everyone and he wears a tiger skin hat with very agile eyes as he looks at these five people. What a graceful child! One of them sighed and said, meeting us was also fate. It's just that his loved ones have all died, so he brought him with us. Wait a minute. The leader of the five people approached and grabbed the child, his hand wandering around him, not even letting go of the little sparrow, okay, 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 I'm not mistaken. This child has a very strong foundation and is a good material for practicing martial arts. And his innate vitality has not dissipated yet. It's a heavenly gift for a spiritual child. This is really a treasure for our Kong Tong sect. Kong Tong may prosper from then on, surpassing Shaolin Wudong in leading a group of ethics. What? The remaining few people were also busy, feeling the bones of this child, and the result was overjoyed, heaven bless Kong Tong. This time, we, the five elders of Kong Tong, have obtained our greatest treasure and lost a seven injury fist. But having such a good disciple is also worth it. Extremely, extremely. When the four of them talk about the Kong Tong sect, they all say they are the five elders of Kong Tong, as if there are no disciples who can handle it. 
the five of them were almost crying with joy. Speaking of these five people, in the martial arts world, the famous five elders of Kong Tong came to pursue Xie Sun in order to snatch the seven hurt fist and injure them. However, they encountered such an incident. Isn't this a blessing from heaven for their Kong Tong? Especially in children's bodies, the innate energy gathers together, as if consciously gathered together. The innate energy does not dissipate, and the true energy cultivated in the future is the purest. And this child's muscles and bones are very good, suitable for practicing martial arts. As long as they are slightly polished in the future, they can achieve such results, adding a master to the Kong Tong sect. But they didn't notice that any child over one year old, upon hearing the name of the five elders of Kong Tong, seemed to want to speak, but his vocal cords were not fully developed, and the sound he produced was only a wawa, making the five elders of Kong Tong think that their actions were too rough, or that the child was hungry, and now they couldn't catch Xie Sun anymore. They also took action and piled up the villagers of this village, they set a fire and burned it directly. As for burial and other things, they didn't have the time to do so. In addition, it is difficult to guarantee that there will be some criminals in this chaotic era. They will dig out their bodies and use them as food. After completing all of this, they will happily embrace this child and travel back to the mansion and the cave. Along the way, the five old guys also warmed and nurtured the tendons and meridians of this child with their own true chi. Although it consumed a lot of true chi, they didn't care either. Our own family knows about our own affairs. Although the Kong Tong sect is known as one of the six major sects, there are very few who can truly make a name for it. They don't mind giving up a part of their cultivation to build the strongest foundation for this child and maintain their innate vitality. The five elders of Kong Tong didn't know which child looked like a dead father when they carried them to Kong Tong. Wearing it. Did I actually travel through it, or did I travel to the world of heaven reliance? But. That's his mother, why did I settle down in Kong Tong? This child, needless to say, is a traveler named Zhao Ruby. Before crossing over, Zhao Ruby was a bricklayer studying mysticism and also a martial arts enthusiast. In fact, as long as he was a man, he inevitably had a martial arts dream in his heart. He had read many martial arts novels, but did not expect to wake up and cross into Jean Dada's heaven reliant dragon slaying world. Originally, this was something that rarely excites people but as someone in his twenties, he has become a little kid who still needs to wet the bed. This makes him feel so embarrassed, but it's okay. Why give himself such a background? Kong Tong Sect This is just a sect that produces soy sauce in the heavenly reliance. There are no other experts to come up with, and the entire sect relies on the support of the five elders of Kong Tong. Stubborn Yes, seven hurt fist. But your sister, this is still the ultimate skill of hurting oneself before hurting anyone. Even Xie Sun, who practiced the seven damaged fist and injured his own brain and nerves, has become a madman, occasionally going crazy. Who is going to cultivate this thing? Isn't this a search for death? Do you want to die faster and faster? Without strong true qi, using the seven damaged fist is just seeking death. You can have powerful true qi, which means you can become a master without using the seven damage fist. For him, this seven hurt fist is just a piece of cake. Think about it, when the five elders of Kong Tong fought against Zhang Wuji at Guangming Peak, they were beaten to the point of losing their temper and had someone else help heal their wounds. This is even more shameless. Do you still have status? Buying it is definitely the bottom of the six major sections. Those who have read the entire text know that even the two swords of the Kunlun sect do not consider the Kong Tong sect. If you want status without status, if you want status without status, if you want ultimate knowledge without ultimate knowledge. One word. Weak. Kong Tong is a figure of the six major sects who fight against soy sauce, and has no status at all. After watching the entire Heaven Reliance sect, there is not a single outstanding aspect of the Kong Tong sect. It is almost the soy sauce party, 
and the sex leaders are still regarded as the soy sauce party. The number of appearances is simply not much. This is a weak and fallen sect, with no bright future ahead. Even the Huashan sect is much stronger than them. At least the Huashan sect was founded by Hao Datong and has gained the legacy of the Chuanjin sect. Not to mention the Huashan 9 skills, it is also one of the most outstanding skills. Why don't you let yourself travel to Zhang Wuji or something like Song Qingshu? No need for pig feet, it's good to become a disciple of Wudang or Shaolin. At least Wudang also has this great master Zhang Sanfeng, who is comparable to the great Bodhisattva. It won't be long before he can master the unparalleled martial arts of Tai Chi and Tai Chi Sword, which are just ordinary, such as Wudang's pure Yang Wuji Gong. This is also a top-dot-notch skill. Not to mention Shaolin, there are also the 70.2 unique skills of Shaolin, the existence of the Yi Jin Jing, or the most mysterious Shi Sui Jing in Shaolin. Why not give yourself such an opportunity? In these sects, with just a little effort, you can surpass the disciples of other sections. As for what Zhao Ruby wants to resist, it's simply impossible. With such a small bean sprout like him now, not to mention being a human, even a local dog can bite him to death. Or it's like the chance to rob pig's feet and find the nine yang manual or something. Your sister, who knows where that monkey will go? He doesn't have the luck of Zhang Wuji. He jumped off such a high place and didn't die yet. By the way, there are descendants of the divine eagle heroes and so on. Isn't this a unique skill that there is hope of obtaining? It's also good to get the fragments of the the Nine Yin Manual, but don't forget how powerful the descendants of the ancient tomb are. Even Zhou Jirua, who has cultivated the Nine Yin White Bone Claw, was easily defeated. He wants to steal unique skills. Isn't this seeking death? As for the Heavenly Sword or something, Zhao Ruby has no intention of going to seize it now. Not to mention whether Nun Extermination really stole the Heavenly Sword from Yuan Ting, but even if the Heavenly Sword is really in the hands of Nun Extermination, he cannot obtain it. The extinct old Nun looks very weak, but it also depends on who he is compared to. No matter how bad she is, at least she is also the leader of the generation, playing with you every minute. Zhao Ruby has become a descendant of Kong Tong. How could he easily participate in other sections? Just deceiving his teachers and destroying his ancestors can make many people hesitate. Although he is not an ancient person, he also has to worry about these things. Thinking about it, Zhao Ruby fell into a coma. He was now a child over a year old and couldn't accommodate the massive operation of his brain. He had to fall into a coma to protect his brain. No matter what, Biking Yang, can't I just play with others as a traveler? Bikiniang, Yitian, your young master has arrived. But fortunately, Zhang Wuji, the pig's foot of this world, has not yet been born. His parents haven't even met him, he he, and that song Qing Shu or something, I'm afraid it's probably just born now at most. I still have time, stupid birds fly into the forest early, that's all. From then on, Kong Tong Mountain also gained an additional disciple, and the legend of this world began as a result. Chapter 002 Mixed Yuan Wan Chi You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Junior Brother, where have you been again? A series of chickens flying and dogs jumping on the Kong Tong Mountain, most disciples have gone to search for people. Stop shouting, Junior Apprentice. The most likely thing is to go to the Sutra Pavilion and catch him. Another disciple shouted, Master asked him to practice martial arts, but he actually avoided saying that he's not interested. We Kong Tong don't want to raise a scholar. A large group of disciples rushed into the Sutra Pavilion, only to see a five or six dot year dot old boy rushing into the pile of books, reading the most basic Taoist scriptures word by word, with black lines all over their heads. Ruby, you're naughty again. Have you finished today's homework? A woman in red took a step forward and caught the young man. Master asked you to practice martial arts, but you secretly ran away and went to the Sutra Pavilion to study. Hurry up, you haven't finished your homework yet. 
Now give me three rounds of Dadao Quan to warm up your true qi. Let go, let go, my hand is broken. This kid is naturally Zhao Ruby. Five years have passed, and everything in the Heaven Reliant world has developed according to its original trajectory. After he arrived at Kong Tong, he soon heard that Xie Sun had killed the Shaolin monk Kong Nian, and then there was the birth of the dragon slaying sword in the martial arts world. All kinds of trajectories did not change because of his arrival. In order to compete for the dragon slaying sword, even the five elders of Kong Tong came out and were eventually taken by the Heavenly Eagles sect. A sword raising ceremony was held at Wangpan Mountain, but in the end, Xia Sun broke in and took the dragon slaying sword, and his whereabouts are unknown. And he is also five years old. He he, according to this calculation, Zhang Tsueshan and Yin Susu have come together, far away to the ice and fire island. Soon, Zhang Wuji will be born. Ten years later, it will be the beginning of the Heavenly Reliance world. Zhao Ruby finally broke free from his senior sister's hand and demonstrated Komtong's foundational martial arts. After the Dadao fist, it was average and no one could pick out any faults, and he threw himself into the pile of books again. But if you think he's studying, then you're looking up to him. In his previous life, he was taught through exam-oriented education. He almost had a deep aversion to reading. Now, he wants to understand the root cause of his internal skills. More directly, since he doesn't have much thigh support, he can only make his thighs thicker. Since there is no ultimate learning, it's better to create it yourself. All the martial arts in the world are created by others. Why can others create them? Can't I? Moreover, Zhao Ruby also has this capital. In his previous generation, he was a master of mysticism, but his research in mysticism is not about specific functions, but about how to make people immortal. This is a crazy study, almost studying the evolution from humans to gods. He believes that with the legend of gods, do gods really exist? If God really exists, what is the reason for the birth of God? If the legends of God are true, how did he achieve them? Later, he believed that martial arts like those in novels, if truly practiced to the extreme, could become gods. For this purpose, he visited many masters and wanted to study their martial arts. However, in that era, all martial arts were just gimmicks, so there was no possibility. But now it's different. Since the age of two, he has been practicing a ray of true qi under the washing of the five elders of Kong Tong, following Kong Tong's teachings. This made the five elders of Kong Tong even more ecstatic, believing that he was a genius. The children of ordinary sects can cultivate their true qi at the age of five or six at most. They can focus on training. Zhao Ruby actually cultivated his true qi at the age of two. This made the five Kong Tong elders extremely happy and decided to share his martial arts with five people. At the same time, he was afraid that because he was too young to control his true qi, almost all the conditions were given to him. What kind of medicinal bath, and what kind of consumption of their own true qi, guiding the flow of true qi for them, is almost like treating him as a little ancestor. On the Kong Tong mountain, he is even more excessive than the enjoyment of many second-generation ancestors. The five elders of Kong Tong couldn't help but laugh and cry. It was Zhao Ruby, who was not very interested in martial arts. On the contrary, he had been hiding in a library since the age of three, asking his disciples one by one. His literary talent was impressive, making people think he was a genius. In fact, this is just Zhao Ruby pretending to be small because he doesn't want to attract others' attention. The five elders of Kong Tong had to force him to study, and a large number of disciples were arranged to monitor where. This is tough, Zhao Ruby. Zhao Ruby is currently studying all the internal skill foundations and wants to know where the true qi comes from and how it grows stronger. He also learned some basic internal skills through a lot of information collected by the Kong Tong sect. NN. When Zhao Ruby entered the field of research and grew stronger, he had a demonic attitude. True qi is also the fundamental energy of the human body, 
like in many novels, true qi is linked to life. Once true qi is depleted, there will be life.threatening situations. And in these internal skill foundations, to put it simply, cultivation is to refine and transform qi. Where does this so dot called essence come from? Part of it comes from one's own food. He knew it was the conservation of energy, and energy would not be born or lost casually, but rather transformed from one form to another. Through a series of studies, Zhao Ruby finally confirmed these, just like his claim that innate vitality is abundant. He received a large amount of essence in his mother and fetus, and his innate strength is stronger than others. His foundation is thicker than others, and he consciously tightened his pores. The amount of turbid qi he exhaled was not much, and there was not much depletion of innate vitality. Therefore, in the process of refining essence and transforming qi, he was much easier than others. No wonder many books say, never tire of food, never tire of refinement, never tire of detail. This is not without reason. Many wealthy families have more spirit than others. Zhao Ruby wrote a series of results and research insights in his notes with a charcoal pen. Compared to low-dot-level techniques, many advanced techniques are superior in the conversion of energy, which can quickly absorb and absorb energy into the body. The use of energy in low-dot-level techniques is very poor, and a lot of energy is being digested in the conversion process, resulting in low efficiency in utilization. That's why advanced techniques are developed. The speed of cultivating true qi is fast, while low-dot-level techniques are slow. The research he did may not be considered a big secret. Many martial arts figures, however, were taught by their masters by Zizi, and they learned what they knew without any reason. Zhao Ruby, on the other hand, has a strong desire for knowledge. If he doesn't study it thoroughly, he won't be willing to accept it. What I am currently practicing is the unique skill of the Kong Tong sect. Hanyuan Ichi. Zhao Ruby also sensed the activity level of his true qi in his body. He has watched many martial arts collected by Kong Tong and knows that Hanyuan Ichi is not considered low. How simple would it be to be called an advanced martial art of a sect, a method practiced by the five elders of Kong Tong? Many people in the Kong Tong sect do not know that Zhao Ruby is practicing this kind of martial arts. They believe that he, like them, is practicing basic martial arts. It is because Zhao Ruby gained the love of the five elders of Kong Tong that he practiced the most advanced martial arts. This martial arts does not distinguish between yin and yang, and is mixed and confused. Yin and yang are unified, and his cultivation is to the extreme, with infinite power. It is divided into eighteen layers, corresponding to the opening of one's own unique meridians and eight meridians, as well as the point of crossing the bridge between heaven and earth. The first six layers are for building foundations, the middle layer is for connecting meridians and accumulating true qi, and the last six layers are for transforming the quality of true qi. Hanyuan Ichi, cultivated to the extreme, has infinite power, otherwise it would not be able to drive the seven damage fist. The Kong Tong sect is known for its seven damage fist, which is one of the six major sections. This martial art requires the use of Hanyuan Qi to drive it. Zhao Ruby knew very well about the power of the seven hurt fist. It is said that it was created by the founder of the Kong Tong sect. King Lingzi. In his hands, this skill was fully utilized, but after him, the power of the seven hurt fist gradually diminished. As for the reason, Zhao Ruby also learned a rough idea through the records in ancient books. It may be that this ancestor had exceptional talent, with five organs and six organs, and was naturally much stronger than others. Using the seven damage fist, he not only did not harm himself, but also used it to refine his own organs and six organs. King Lingzi was the only ancestor of the Kong Tong sect who lived a long life. The only character who cultivates Hanyuan Ichi to the extreme. Not enough, not enough. Zhao Ruby practiced this Hanyuan Ichi and sensed the true qi in his body. In the first six layers, true qi had no attributes and could be transformed into any cultivation method. 
He was well aware that during the cultivation of this Hanyuanichi, many of its essence had not been fully utilized, indicating that Hanyuanichi was not a unique skill. A true unique skill can allow for the refinement and transformation of qi without wasting any time. Although this Hanyuanichi is powerful, it is truly necessary to complete its cultivation. If I were to diligently cultivate it like this, it would probably take 30 to 40 years, and then Huang Hua would not waste any time. The dishes have all cooled down. At the same time, this Hanyuan Qi is very slow in penetrating the muscles and veins in the body. It is difficult to achieve a fast, stable, and ruthless level. This is also the reason why he studies these basic internal skills. At the same time, due to his time travel, he has accumulated a huge amount of spiritual power, which allows him to easily internalize and establish a foundation for creating a basic internal skill. However, this is not the same. His knowledge is really too limited. Over the past three years, Zhao Ruby has also created an unnamed martial arts technique, which has little effect but only an auxiliary function. It accelerates the speed of refining essence and transforming qi, so that the essence will not be lost too much. This can be combined with any martial arts technique. He kept flipping through the books in the library, and suddenly his eyes lit up. Chapter 003 Purple Sun Enlightenment Chapter You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ziang Wuzhen Chapter Disciple by Yu Chan Gonglu Zhao Ruby looked at the peeling ancient scroll he was holding in his hand, and his eyes widened. As an expert in the study of mysticism, Zhao Ruby has a detailed understanding of the characters who practiced in ancient times. If most people forget about them, the characters mentioned at the beginning of this ancient volume are like thunder piercing through their ears. To put it another way, the Heavenly Reliance world is known about the five legends, among which Wang Chongyang, the divine power, is definitely a person at the level of a great god. In this ancient scroll, the characters mentioned in Ziang and White Jade Cicada are definitely like Wang Chongyang and the seven sons of Chuanjin. But rather this world, ignoring this person's contribution. It can be said that it is truly prosperous and cannot be separated from this person. Ziang is the so dot called Ziang Immortal. Zhang Wudwan, a figure who is definitely famous and capable no less than Wang Chongyang. Wang Chongyang founded the Chuanjin sect, at least with the help of the seven sons of Chuanjin. However, this person was unarmed and founded the non-zone of the inner alchemy sect. Compared to his abilities, he is definitely no less than a character like Wang Chongyang. He is also revered as the head of the five ancestors of the southern sect. And the white jade cicada, on the other hand, was even more remarkable. She received the inheritance of the Ziang immortal and eventually merged with Chuanjin, making Taoism a prosperous figure. In the trilogy of Shidiao, Xindiao, and Yitian, there are no such powerful characters or sections. Although the reason is unknown, Zhao Ruby knows that the characters of Nanzong have always been passed down in a single lineage, unlike the Chuanjin sect, which has a large number of people and is not well dot known. But a person who can be called an ancestor is not an ordinary person. Moreover, this southern sect is not just a simple character. They are like gods and immortals, especially the white jade cicada, combined with the knowledge of the five ancestors, and finally helped southern sect reach a great level. However, because southern sect has been a single lineage since Zhang Budwan, it cannot compare to the grandeur of Chuanjin sect. In the end, it seems that they have merged with the Chuanjin sect to become one. Otherwise, how can Chuanjin sect travel south? After the destruction of Chuanjin, each established their own orthodoxy, which was closely related to Nanzong, and the strength of Nanzong could be seen. Zhao Ruby trembled as he opened the Ziang Wuzhen chapter. The first one was written. Confucianism, Buddhism, and Taoism are interconnected, and the three religions have always been the same. Red Lotus, White Lotus, Green Lotus Leaves The three teachings used to be one family, with him as the core, and it also records the White Jade Cicada. Starting from the ancestors of various dynasties, it tells the origin of the Golden Core sect. 
especially for the Ziang Wuxian chapter, a systematic explanation has been provided, which can be said to be the culmination of the Chuanjin Southern sect. Zhao Ruby was like a precious treasure, but when he looked at this volume of Ziang Wuxian, it recorded the important thoughts of Nanzong in Zhang Budwan's Golden Elixir Avenue. It recorded that dual cultivation of life and life was the main purpose of his internal cultivation. It is believed that the human body is used as the cauldron, essence is used as medicine, and spirit is used as the fire element. Through internal refinement, the essence is condensed and not dispersed, forming a golden pill. However, this type of elixir is not the so dot called elixir of gold and stone, but rather a cultivation method that emphasizes the true qi of the inner family. Among them, the main records are how to make one's true qi, gather qi into clusters, and cook qi into pills. The various cultivation methods directly made Zhao Ruby feel like a treasure, good, 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 this. This is an incredible method of cultivating inner pills. This is a skill that is definitely no less than Wang Chongyang's innate skill. Although Wang Chongyang's innate skill is unknown, its name can be inferred that cultivating this innate mother qi simulates the human body in the fetal stage, without any impurities, which can be called innate. However, this is probably an innate skill. Compared to so dot called innate skills, it is even more pure. Directly in one's own elixir field, using essence as medicine and spirit as fire, through internal cultivation, the essence is condensed and not dispersed, forming a golden pill. After the achievement of the golden elixir, it emits elixir qi that roams throughout one's body, nourishing the body. Additionally, one can use this elixir qi to open up meridians without much loss. Almost all the essence of your body are introverted into the golden pill, and there is no waste. This is not an exaggeration compared to any so dot called divine skill. But why is Nanzong so destitute that he has hardly heard of the rumors of Nanzong? This martial art, even with Zhao Ruby's methods, is known to be very powerful. Why is such a masterpiece placed in the hands of the desolate Kongtong sect? Moreover, the five elders of the Kongtong sect, no matter how useless, should also know the strength of this martial art. Zhao Ruby, with such thoughts, went to inquire with the five elders of Kongtong. What kind of alchemy are you talking about? Zong Weixia was very happy when he heard his tired disciple inquire about Wugong Mountain. However, after hearing what he was asking about, he couldn't help but smile bitterly. He he he, Ruby, although this is a unique skill, not everyone can practice it. This ancient scroll is a senior of our Kong Tong sect who saved a mysterious Taoist. Before his death, this Taoist gave it to our Kong Tong sect, and our ancestors all know it is a unique skill. We have tried it one after another. What was the result? Zhao Ruby urgently inquired. Result. Tang Wenliang, one of the five elders of Kong Tong, frowned and said, the result is that many of our disciples have lost their true qi, dissipated their qi, and wasted their kung fu. This martial art requires talented individuals to cultivate it effectively. Otherwise, many people will not be able to pass the stage of gathering qi into a ball, let alone the later stage of cooking qi as a pill. Yeah, like a wall, our Kong Tong sect's ultimate skill is not inferior to others. As long as you cultivate the Hanyuan Ichi well, you can dominate the martial arts world. Don't worry about this skill. Zhao Ruby got the answer from the five elders of Kong Tong. However, he was determined to cultivate unparalleled martial arts and finally came across a course. How could he let it go? On the surface, he listened to the five elders of Kong Tong, but that night, he began to try. Okay, this alchemy skill records the method of cultivating inner qi. There are no martial arts techniques, but I believe that once this inner alchemy is cultivated, it will trigger the seven damage fist, which is as simple as eating and drinking water. Zhao Ruby had long studied the mysteries of this alchemy, including the benefits of internal alchemy. He knew very well that the cultivation of internal alchemy in the inner alchemy school aimed to use internal alchemy to achieve the goal of longevity. Therefore, internal alchemy is the purest form of life qi. 
Not only is it very gentle in expanding muscles and meridians, but it can also nourish and strengthen the five organs and six organs. Moreover, it records many methods of cultivating external alchemy to compensate for the cultivation of internal alchemy. The so dot called external alchemy cultivation is to combine with elixirs to promote the cultivation of internal alchemy. The alchemy records that as long as the cultivation is successful, it only takes more than 10 years to reach the first dot class level in the world. It has to be said that he cannot let go of the temptation in this. Currently, among the Kong Tong sect, only the five elders of Kong Tong are top dot notch experts. What kind of Wudang seven heroes do they look like? Among them, only Song Yuanxiao and Yu Lianzhou have achieved first dot class status. The extinction of Amei also requires the use of the heavenly sword to see how they can defeat first dot class figures, not to mention the emptiness and emptiness of Shaolin. They are just top dot notch first dot class figures. As for top dot notch characters, there are probably not many either. But how long did they take? Zhao Ruby thought to himself that he wouldn't be able to use so much time. Besides, the chaotic times have arrived, and the future of Mingjiao, as well as the threat from the court, lacks strong strength. Therefore, even obtaining a dog is not as good as it is. This is also because under the condition that the traveler has mastered the prophet, he knows more than others, and naturally lives more tiredly than others. The human body is like a cauldron, essence is like medicine, and spirit is like fire. Zhao Ruby sat on his own cattail and started practicing according to the key techniques recorded in the Dan Gong. He gradually understood what the hidden terms in this alchemy were, and cultivation emphasized the three treasures of essence, qi, and spirit. Among them, essence refers to essence, qi refers to a person's innate vitality, and spirit refers to their own spiritual will. During cultivation, he immediately understood why so many people couldn't cultivate this alchemy. Damn it, no wonder this alchemy is really terrifying. It must be a person with exceptional talent to cultivate it. Zhao Ruby just used his own ideas to gather all the true qi, transforming it into an air mass. With his own god, Hua Guan wanted to become a flame, constantly burning up these clusters of true qi, transforming them into terrifying inner alchemy, and immediately understood the terror in it. His true qi, although not very mainstream, is very pure, but under such circumstances, it keeps shrinking. Zhao Ruby was full of genuine qi, which immediately became empty and uncomfortable. With all his genuine qi, under the care of his divine cultivation, tiny impurities overflowed from his fine pores, emitting a lot of foul odor. And his true qi, which he had practiced for two or three years, suddenly turned into a soybean-sized bean and appeared in his elixir field. However, Zhao Ruby not only did not feel the comfort of practicing true qi in the past, but also felt very tired. He wished he could fall down and fall asleep. But he knew that once he relaxed, he would cook qi into pills, and the newly born phantom would immediately explode, leaving him with no bones left to fear. And after the birth of this soybean-sized bean, Zhao Ruby is needed to stabilize it, and it is fully absorbing nutrients to increase its own nutrients. Zhao Ruby's body was originally soaked in medicinal herbs, and his bones are full, but now his flesh and blood are strangely relaxing. In no time, a chubby and chubby doll became emaciated and rugged, and this scene was simply terrifying. Chapter 004 The King of the Great Stomach you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. It's done. Zhao Ruby opened his eyes with joy, and now he felt all the true energy in the Dantian, gathered in this bullet, as if he had an extra heart. The essence and spirit blend together, and this pill is like his second life. Zhao Ruby also felt the benefits of this pill for himself after it was completed. Although this pill absorbs a large amount of energy while jumping, most of which comes from his own body's food, the nutrients in it are not wasted at all. At the same time, he also felt the coolness under his skin, which is a manifestation of absorbing the vitality of heaven and earth and refining it into a pill. However, combined with many bizarre novels, it is recorded that since the Song dynasty, there have been fewer traces of immortal families, 
and now it belongs to the Silver Age in Jean Dada's martial arts novels. The vitality of heaven and earth is gradually lacking. Apart from top experts, only this type of divine skill can absorb the vitality of heaven and earth. Damn it, this Dan Gong is not something that people can usually cultivate. Zhao Ruby understood that it was a change in his body, and his heart moved. No wonder the southern sect is difficult to truly promote and develop. There are so many talents in the northern sect, and among them, the cultivation of this Dan Gong is also predetermined by the martial arts. The person who cultivates this Dan Gong must be a person with extraordinary talent, innate vitality, strong enough, and has not dissipated in order to have a slight opportunity. In addition, innate spiritual power must be mutated, and the spirit must be strong enough to truly use spiritual power to achieve the step of spiritual refinement and cook chi into Dan. Otherwise, it is impossible to achieve all the recorded things in the Dan Gong. No wonder this divine skill falls into the Kong Tong sect. There is no one in my hand who can cultivate this divine skill, which is not unreasonable. Only a traveler like me, who consciously locks in my innate essence and has a strong spirit, is the person who truly cooperates with the cultivation of this divine skill. No why can the five ancestors of Nanzong practice? Are they like me? Are they walkers but he thought about it and let it go? Which one of the travelers is not very superior to themselves, how could they sit idly by and watch the Han people suffer such bullying? Apart from the identity of a traveler, Zhao Ruby can be certain that these ancestors are all talented individuals. Nanzong has always been a single lineage, and with their conditions, searching for a successor is almost impossible. Zhao Ruby now felt the ethereal elixir gathered deep in his elixir field, which was a big step toward success. The rest only needed to accumulate over time and gradually become experts. Great, I knew that travelers definitely have benefits. However, what Zhao Ruby cares more about is the cultivation of this golden pill, and his lifespan is longer than others. As a mystic, what he cares most about is studying immortality. He naturally feels that in the depths of this golden pill, it is almost the essence and spirit condensed from his whole body. Unlike ordinary true qi, it is even purer than innate vitality. So his true qi is even more powerful than ordinary true qi. At the same time, the true qi will become increasingly pure and closer to the innate realm. He now also feels the benefits of it. The true qi trained with the golden elixir is very gentle and can be used to attack his own muscles and meridians. This is the best choice, and it will not leave any hidden damage to his body. It is not like other domineering true qi, which becomes stronger when it is strong and will not last long. The benefits of this only need Zhao Ruby to understand on his own. He also knows that this alchemy is not so simple. The following is for him to explore. Gollum. 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 Zhao Ruby still wanted to meditate for a while, but he felt his hunger gurgling. He had never felt this hunger before, and there were also bursts of foul odors coming from his body. These were the excretory impurities in his body after the pill was completed. In addition, he looked at his palm and was immediately dumbfounded. He. Is he almost so skinny now that his bones stand out? What's going on here? Zhao Ruby was immediately dumbfounded. This alchemy is really too evil, isn't it? No, I understand now. This alchemy requires a large amount of essence to cook qi into pills and absorb a large amount of nutrients. In order to cook qi into pills, it is necessary to absorb the energy of one's own body, and all the nutrients contained in the cytoplasm of one's own body are absorbed by this golden pill. So I lost weight all at once. Another thing is that he feels a feeling of hunger, which is partly imparted by his physical functions and partly imposed by this golden pill. If he doesn't eat, he will become increasingly thin. This is too ridiculous. Zhao Ruby screamed and ran out into a pool, immediately washing his body. Coincidentally, the night had passed, and the rising sun happened to be during the meal of the Kong Tong sect. Zhao Ruby rushed into the cafeteria, grabbed a large amount of food, 
and wolfed it down. The speed of the action is unbelievable. Um. This little junior brother has eaten too much, hasn't he? He's still a child. Yeah, yeah, take a look. He ate for twenty people, and he's not afraid to hold on, is he? Go ahead and stop him, otherwise we'll be punished. Not bad, stop junior brother, or you'll have to endure to death. Zhao Ruby's senior brothers immediately came over to stop his actions, but only after they approached did they hear a growl coming from Zhao Ruby's stomach. It was not even full, and there was no sign of Zhao Ruby's stomach swelling at all. Zhao Ruby also immediately felt the magic of this magic pill. As long as he ate these foods, the golden pill was to stimulate his digestive tract, and immediately absorbed the nutrients in the food. The impurities also passed through the pores and were excreted like sweat. A little essence would not be wasted. However, his eating habits immediately stunned everyone in the Kong Tong sect. The cafeteria cooked almost all the food from the same sect, with most of it entering his stomach. However, he is only a five-year-old child who can eat like this. Not to mention that he is poor at eating a sect. Not only were everyone stunned, but also the five elders of Kong Tong. They were all shocked. Zhao Ruby was their fate, and there couldn't be any negligence. They also ran over and happened to watch as Zhao Ruby put down the last bowl, touched his stomach, and sighed, only one and a half full, still a little hungry. Pop it. A few thumping sounds kept coming, not only many disciples, but also the five elders of Kong Tong were stunned. They were afraid that their proud disciple might have problems, so they quickly caught Zhao Ruby and left. However, after Zhao Ruby left, a lot of Kong Tong disciples howled and they were destined to go hungry. You should know that in ancient times, some wealthy families ate twice, one in the morning and one in the evening. Zhao Ruby ate up so much food and immediately made them hungry. Ruby, what's wrong with you? The five elders of Kong Tong helped Zhao Ruby check his body and found that his condition was very good. Compared to many people of the same age, it's unknown how much better, but they also noticed that Zhao Ruby's body was gradually becoming thinner. What's going on here? They can't explain it clearly. However, Zhao Ruby didn't hide anything and spoke frankly, telling them that he had cultivated the Purple Sun Enlightenment chapter and was still successful, so that's the situation. What? Did you succeed? Tang Wenliang was pleasantly surprised and said, So you have released a true qi, let me have a good understanding. What is the true qi of this Xiang Enlightenment chapter? Zhao Ruby didn't delay either. Driven by the golden pill, he released a trace of elixir, but it was this trace that made him very sad. This trace of elixir entered Tang Wenliang's body. He only felt comfortable all over. It was like eating ginseng fruit. It was like practicing seven wounded fist. The injury caused by it also showed signs of improvement. Unfortunately, this trace of elixir is too little to cure all his injuries. Okay, 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 the true energy of this Ziang Wuzhen chapter is indeed powerful, like a wall. You are considered lucky. Yes, this Xiang Wuzhen chapter is the way for those old Taoists to achieve immortality. Naturally, pure innate energy is needed to cultivate it. This is simply a perfect match with the wall. Tang Wenliang opened his eyes and shared his speculation with everyone, moreover, practicing this Xiang Wuzhen chapter has a unique healing ability. In the future, if you practice this seven damage fist like a wall, you don't have to worry. With this true qi protecting your whole body, you can practice this seven damage fist to the extreme and unleash the realm of the Qingling Patriarch. Take a look, which character underestimated our Kong Tong sect. The remaining few people, upon hearing this, also tried Zhao Ruby's alchemy one by one and were overjoyed. Master, I have reached the realm of cultivation and I will definitely treat the injuries caused by the seven hurt fist for you. Zhao Ruby is not a heartless person. Although the five elders of Kong Tong are very useless, they treat themselves very well. They invest in wooden peaches and repay them with Qiong Yao. If others treat themselves well, 
they will naturally repay them ten times. Besides, if the five elders of Kong Tong had no injuries and used the seven damage fist without restrictions, even Shaolin and Wudong wouldn't dare to underestimate it. Okay, okay, this is not urgent. After all these years have passed, it's not urgent for a moment. As long as you practice well like Ruby, you can do it. The five elders of Kong Tong were very happy, but they also advised Xiao Ruby to practice until later. Otherwise, it would harm his body, and it would be a loss for nothing. Yes. Zhao Ruby agreed loudly, but there was a gurgling sound coming from his stomach. Soon, he felt hungry again, which was also a side effect of practicing this skill. Chapter 005 Departure, Goal Ending South Mountain You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Time flies like a shuttle. After Zhao Ruby received this Purple Sun Enlightenment chapter, in the blink of an eye, another seven years have passed. On the land of China, various strange things are in full swing, and the Yuan court has also increased its suppression of refugees. Coupled with years of drought, plague, and war, the entire land of China is filled with grief and chaos. And all of this has little to do with Zhao Ruby. In this chaotic era, more and more people are learning martial arts to preserve themselves and their families. The Kong Tong sect is also thriving, and a large number of families near the Kong Tong mountain have sent their children to the Kong Tong sect to learn martial arts and protect their families. As one of the six major sects, the threshold for entering the Kong Tong sect is also very high, and most people will not randomly accept it. However, within three years, there has been a change. As long as your family is wealthy and you give a large apprenticeship fee, you can almost enter the Kong Tong sect for cultivation. However, whether you enter the Kong Tong sect is a dragon or a worm, it also depends on your own efforts. Because the Kong Tong sect has actually made tremendous reforms, all its disciples are divided into external disciples, internal disciples, and true disciples. As long as you make great contributions to the sect, or have a genius and strong martial arts talent, you can improve your status. Besides learning martial arts, these disciples also have things to do. The Kong Tong sect still needs to deal with most of the mountain bandits or bandits within their territory, ensuring the safety and well-being of the people. As long as there is anything that harms the people, almost all Kong Tong sect disciples will take on the task and go to eliminate them. In this way, the Kong Tong sect not only gained a large amount of resources, but also gained fame. Almost in the Kong Tong generation, everyone was proud to become disciples of the Kong Tong sect. Most people did not know about the six major sects, but they knew very well about the Kong Tong sect. However, all of this is also closely related to Zhao Ruby. Mainly because Zhao Ruby is too foodie, even the six major sects know that there was a foodie in the Kong Tong sect who almost made the Kong Tong sect completely impoverished. It can be imagined that when he practiced this Purple Sun Enlightenment chapter, his strength was great, but the aftermath was also very serious. It needs to absorb a lot of nutrients, otherwise it will harm itself. It is the five elders of Kong Tong who dote on him very much. Although they have a large amount of resources, they cannot withstand Zhao Ruby's excessive food and drink. Even if the Kong Tong sect has a large family, owns a lot of land, and rents it to tenants, the sect resources are still insufficient. Finally, at the suggestion of Zhao Ruby, the sect was reformed. However, the effect of the reform was also very good, as the sect gained a large amount of income. In such a chaotic era, having martial arts skills is also of great benefit to them. The Kong Tong sect has set up escort agencies and dispatched a large number of disciples to exercise, to prevent them from not killing anyone and suffering great losses in fighting with others. In addition, he has established a series of hierarchical systems, giving many disciples hope and enhancing their sense of belonging to the sect. But what's more important is that such a large income is enough to support Zhao Ruby's cultivation during these seven years. The cost of Zhao Ruby's cultivation is really frightening. Almost every day, he treats supplements as a meal. If it were anyone else, he would definitely not receive supplements. 
However, in these seven years, Zhao Ruby has grown a lot and become a child. At the age of twelve, he ultimately appears very thin. All of this was caused by this Ziang Wuzhen chapter, but his true energy is very terrifying. At the age of only twelve, he has actually connected many meridians. According to the five elders of Kong Tong, his strength is quite a third-rate figure. Although he is a third-rate figure, not a strong one, he is only twelve years old and has reached such a level, almost surpassing the predecessors of the Kong Tong sect throughout history. However, the five elders of Kong Tong have a greater recognition of Zhao Ruby's management talent. They love and hate his little brain, almost as they don't need to deal with any major matters. Everything can be solved by Zhao Ruby, and the sect is only organized, surpassing the posture of Mount Hua and Kunlun. This naturally brought great joy to the five elders of Kong Tong, but what reassured them the most was Zhao Ruby's martial arts talent, which was displayed to the fullest extent. Many questions were difficult for them to answer, and the only way was to open the library, allowing Zhao Ruby to confidently read the books and selectively learn. However, they also discovered that Zhao Ruby's heart was very big, like those senior brothers who were sent out as bodyguards. Their behavior and actions were quite organized, as if they were marching in battle, with evidence for advance and retreat. This not only did not make them uneasy, but also made them even more excited. In this chaotic world, only those with strength can gain huge benefits. Even if they compete for the world in the future, their Kong Tong sect can still support them. Even if it doesn't work, as long as they support Qianlong in the future, they can still benefit greatly. But these ideas are tacit to them. Zhao Ruby naturally didn't know this, otherwise he would definitely shout. He just wanted to kill fewer people, how could he have thought so much? But he has also encountered a bottleneck now. The wealth of the Kong Tong sect is so great that it is difficult for him to make such a big contribution every day. His alchemy skills have entered a bottleneck, and he has also discovered a major problem. If it is not solved, there will be huge hidden dangers for himself in the future. So it's his physical problem, because most of the nutrients in his body are absorbed into the golden elixir, leading to a lack of nutrients in his body, making it difficult for him to grow and grow, resulting in him appearing much thinner. In fact, solving this problem is very simple. You only need to cultivate a method of exercising muscles and bones, absorb Dan Qi, and refine your own muscles and bones to easily solve this problem. But the problem is that this Purple Sun Enlightenment chapter is really too powerful, belonging to the Divine Skill series. The general method of exercising muscles and bones does not have much effect on him. It's like when he just absorbed the elixir to refine the skin and flesh, and had not yet let the blood and flesh absorb these elixirs and mix them into the blood. The golden pill rotated once, and immediately absorbed his essence completely back. After going back and forth, I've lost a lot, and I'm so angry that Zhao Ruby doesn't even practice these methods of the Kong Tong sect. In fact, after twelve years in this world, Zhao Ruby has also understood many problems. Kong Tong sect can become one of the six major sections. Their skills are not incompetent, but they are equivalent to those magic skills, such as the Nine Yang Manual and Tendon Changing Classic. They are much weaker, but compared with many other small sects, they can be said to be a world apart. Otherwise, Kong Tong sect is very convenient, almost in Kong Tong territory. Even many small sects and small sect leaders are proud to join Kong Tong sect. Zhao Ruby's thoughts at the beginning of his journey were too presumptuous and ambitious. The martial arts of the Kong Tong sect are quite good, but the comparison is only made with second-rate sections. If it were compared with those who possess divine skills, it would probably be much worse. Not having the heritage of Shaolin, and being compared to a great master of Wudang who carries on the past and opens up the future. For this issue, Zhao Ruby has also studied it for a long time. It is very simple to solve one's own physical problems. At least find a divine skill level method to make up for one's physical shortcomings, so that one can gradually grow without causing physical deformities. This is also the reason why he practiced this alchemy too early. 
It's not like the fifth ancestor of the southern sect who had a foundation to cultivate this alchemy, so naturally he didn't have such concerns. In his mind, he also chose his own martial arts techniques, among which the first one to bear the brunt was naturally the Shaolin Book of Changes. Think about it, in the Eight Heavenly Dragons, that useless material Yutanji, relying on the Book of Changes to change his muscles and bones, still became a figure at the level of Xiao Feng and Murong Fu. Although he did not defeat them, it was just his low martial arts foundation, and the strength of this Book of Changes can be seen. However, Zhao Ruby could only think about it for a moment. Shaolin Temple hides dragons and crouching tigers, among which there are first dot class figures. Where did he go? It's like seeking death. The tendon changing sutra is dead. Looking at Jean Dada's novels, only the tendon changing and bone forging chapter recorded in the The Nine Yin Manual is the most suitable one for him. Think about it. Huang Shang is just a middle dot aged person in grade, but relying on the tendon changing and bone forging chapter, he has cultivated martial arts and improved his physique. It can be seen that this thing is absolutely no less than the soul washing sutra of Shaolin Temple. And this thing, in the world of heaven reliance, is not without place to do it. It seems that the the Nine Yin Manual exists in the Heaven Reliance Sword, and Zhao Ruby also got the news that the Heaven Reliance Sword appeared in the hands of the Ame Extinction Abyss, apparently from the Mongolian Lord. However, to exterminate the Abyss's urine, it would be very difficult to steal the sword yourself. No, there is no chance. So there's only one place left. The Ancient Tomb Sect. At the beginning, Wang Chongyang fought with Lin Chaoying and wrote the fragments of the The Nine Yin Manual, in which there was a chapter about changing tendons and forging bones. When a mysterious woman in yellow shirt of the ancient tomb sect came out, she also used the Nine Yin White Bone Claw. Obviously, there was still a chapter about changing tendons and forging bones in the ancient tomb sect. This is my only hope, otherwise, there is really no one on par with it. It seems that this time I am imperative. The rest of them have no divine skills that can be compared to them, and they cannot solve the damage caused by this Purple Sun Enlightenment chapter to oneself. Zhao Ruby acted swiftly and swiftly. Since he had thought of this, he immediately followed suit and went to tell the five elders of Kong Tong. Chapter 006 Golden Flower and Silver Leaf You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. What? Are you going down the mountain? The five elders of Kong Tong were also taken aback when they heard Zhao Ruby's report, but they also agreed to Zhao Ruby's request. Young birds, once they finish their work, will fly out of their nest to search for food on their own. Besides, their expectations for Zhao Ruby are very high. Now that his cultivation has reached a third rate level, and he has not undergone the baptism of blood and fire in the Kong Tong sect, it is difficult for him to truly grow. The five elders of Kong Tong thought of this and also let Zhao Ruby go down the mountain. He has been in the Heaven Reliant world for twelve years and has been living in the Kong Tong sect. Now he finally has the opportunity to venture out and explore. Meanwhile, Zhao Ruby, who is familiar with the plot, knows that in no more than three or four years, Zhang Tsueishan and his family will return to Middle Earth from Ice and Fire Island. At that time, the Heavenly Reliance world will officially open, and major forces will also emerge one by one. His current power is good, but it is still not enough to cope with the upcoming tide. This is also one of the reasons why he urgently wants to obtain the E-Gene Forging Bone chapter. Zhao Ruby also casually tidied up and brought ten tails of silver as a coiling, as well as an iron sword, which was easy to set off on the road. This is the standard rule of the Kong Tong sect. Don't look at how shivering this is, it's actually quite good. Especially in the Yuan dynasty, iron weapons were regulated, and many people shared their kitchen knives. Only martial arts practitioners dared to have weapons by their side. As recorded in history, during the uprising at the end of the Yuan dynasty, many people only used bamboo poles. It can be imagined that Yuan Ting's tyranny is so powerful. Wulin people wear swords and swords because the Yuan court has weakened. 
When Mongolia was strong, it dominated the central plains and carried out mass killings. Even Shaolin and other sects were sealed off, but in less than a hundred years, the Yuan court was fundamentally corrupt. Zhao Ruby descended from Kongtong Mountain, like a dragon entering the sea, very joyful. But along the way, my heart became heavy. On the land of Shenzhou, there is no vitality at all. Many people are numb and indifferent, and he has witnessed many cases of selling children and women. In order to take a bite, his human nature is almost portrayed to the extreme. Even if Xiao Ruby uses his only silver to help those people, it is far from enough. Long poverty is difficult to overcome. Zhao Ruby sighed, and along the way, he also saw how polarized the eyes were. The stinky road of wine and meat in Zhu Men has frozen bones, which is not to be said. Many local tycoons, along with many Mongolian descendants, possess a large amount of resources and enjoy them. This left Zhao Ruby amazed. The old system has already decayed, but the new system will be re-established on this decaying ruins. But this is just pushing a decaying tree, and letting another parasite take root in these people. Zhao Ruby also seemed to feel a wonderful state of mind, very uncomfortable. Along the way, he headed towards Zhongnan Mountain, and with his consumption, he naturally intended to rob the rich and help the poor. However, he did not blindly go to help those people, which was just useless and difficult to truly let them survive in this chaotic era. To help them, we need to transform their thinking. Only by arming their minds can we make this sad nation prosperous and strong. The Sodot called robbing the rich to help the poor completely relieved Zhao Ruby's stomach. After leaving Kongtong Mountain, he was like a fish in water. With his martial arts skills, he plundered some strong individuals and became a gentleman on the Lian River. It was easy for him to do so, and as long as he had enough silver, he could live a better life. For example, having good mountain ginseng to warm his body every day could also be easily achieved. In less than three months, Zhao Ruby snatched the horses and was very close to Zhongnan Mountain. Hmm Zhongnan Mountain is in sight, but I will also need to rest well. After so many days of rushing, I have lost weight. Zhao Ruby was on this road, extravagant and a teenager riding a tall horse, which naturally attracted many people to come and plunder. He also had no mercy. With these bandits, he came to exercise his courage, and all of them were killed by him. At the same time, Zhao Ruby also cultivated most of the martial arts of the Kong Tong sect to a high level. In fact, the Kong Tong sect is not only limited to seven damage fist, but also a sect. If one wants to establish themselves, they naturally have a lot of basic martial arts. Otherwise, how can they take root? It doesn't need a lot of magic skills, and magic skills also need specific conditions, such as the The Nine Yang Manual. Since its birth, even Master Zhu Yuan, who first discovered it, has finally lost his strength and died because of the cultivation of this magic skill. Only Zhang Wuji, who was hit by the Xianming Divine Palm, and in order to survive, also fooled around, but also cultivated to a small degree, finally in the Guangming summit, with the help of an air bag of heaven and earth. In special circumstances, he has just cultivated to a great degree. Otherwise, he may also follow the path of Master Zhu Yuan and use the Nine Yang Manual over exertion will lead to exhaustion. The Kong Tong sect also has a large number of martial arts, including swords, spears, swords, halberds, fists, palms, legs, and likeness skills. Zhao Ruby naturally chose the essence among them, just learning swordsmanship, as well as a set of palm techniques, a set of fist techniques, and a set of likeness skills. These martial arts, in his opinion, value excellence rather than proficiency. The top priority for him is to rest on his internal skills. As long as his internal skills are deep enough, it is a third-rate move that can unleash extremely strong power. Also, as long as his internal skill is strong enough, Zhao Ruby is interested in going to the Guangming summit to capture the great shift of heaven and earth. As in the original book, Zhang Wuji was easily beaten to vomit blood by the extinct abyss when he learned the great shift of heaven and earth. 
But after learning the great shift of heaven and earth, with the cooperation of the Nine Yang Manual, he picked up all kinds of martial arts at his fingertips, all because of his profound skills. Zhao Ruby, in order to obtain these secret scriptures of divine arts, made a lot of preparations, such as reading Taoist scriptures, Buddhist scriptures, Confucian classics, Tibetan and Persian texts, as well as the medical skills passed down from the Kong Tong school and the Ziang Wuzhen chapter. He almost became a knowledgeable person. In the Kong Tong school, there are hardly any people who can compare his knowledge to him. In addition, he still has memories and knowledge from his previous life. It is feared that in the world of relying on heaven, there are not many people who can compare his knowledge to him. Therefore, he appears to be gentle and refined, as well as the mystery of his alchemy. Many people believe that he is the young master of the noble family, consider him a big fish, and die in his hands. Zhao Ruby stopped directly in a small town closest to Zhongnan Mountain, prepared to rest well, recuperate, and then went to the ancient tomb sect to steal the Yijin forging bone chapter. The ancient tomb sect should not be underestimated. After all, it is Yang Guo's descendant. And from the women in yellow shirts who appeared behind, the ancient tomb sect absolutely has a complete version of the The Nine Yin Manual. I don't know how powerful characters exist in it, but it is much easier here than Shaolin Temple. At the foot of the Zhongnan Mountain, there is a tomb of the living dead, a divine eagle and a hero, extinct in the martial arts world. The story of Yang Guo has passed for a long time, and with the establishment of the Yuan court, their generation of great sweaters died in the hands of Han warriors. Naturally, they blocked all of his messages. The other party also thinks they are very secretive, and outsiders don't know, which gives themselves a chance, here it is. Zhao Ruby smelled the smell of medicine and came to a tonic diet shop in the town Zhao Ruby's explanation of medical skills is impressive. With the medical skills recorded in the Ziang Wuzhen chapter, we can lay a solid foundation for him. His medical skills are no less than those of ordinary famous doctors. You should know that the second ancestor of Nanzong was known as Xinglin Shirtai, so the medical skills of Nanzong's lineage cannot be underestimated. In addition, Zhao Ruby has the foundation of Western medicine from the previous generation, and his medical skills are definitely unique in the world of relying on heaven. He can distinguish medicinal herbs and still do it. Knowing this family is very authentic. Good, good, give me a pot of tonic diet. Zhao Ruby walked into the shop directly and left a ingot of gold on the table. He ordered several famous tonic diet in the shop himself, and they were also mended. Among them, a girl with thick skirt and cloth clothes who was doing chores in the shop covered her appearance with her hair, and there was a trace of illness between her eyebrows. She reminded, this guest, can you eat these tonic diet? These medicines are full of strength, and ordinary people will not be mended. It's okay, just give it to me. Zhao Ruby was wealthy and indifferent, hurry up, I'm starving. The other party had no choice but to slowly help Zhao Ruby up one by one. As long as Zhao Ruby's weakness was not replenished, he immediately stopped and prepared mung bean soup for Zhao Ruby. When Zhao Ruby couldn't bear the medicine, it could help him relieve it. What makes people dumbfounded is that dozens of tonic diet ordered by Zhao Ruby have all gone into Zhao Ruby's stomach, but nothing has happened. His face is red, and he keeps yelling. Shuang, Shuang, these are all made from old medicine, and the processing technique is very sophisticated. This tonic diet shop is really amazing. But he saw this shop again, it was very deserted, which was not in line with his craftsmanship. However, Zhao Ruby thought for a moment and immediately understood the mystery. In this world, some food is already good, where can one expect such delicacy? And this shop is owned by a father and daughter. Seeing that Zhao Ruby is eating well, they secretly claim to be curious, but they are also clever and don't ask. Cough. Just as Zhao Ruby shook off his arms and was eating and drinking heavily, he heard a series of coughing sounds, which contained the true energy of his family. Not far away, an elderly couple supported each other, followed by a little girl, and suddenly appeared in front of this small shop. 
With a bang, a flower made of gold was nailed to the pillar of this small shop, ahem, come on, serve the old lady. Golden flower. Zhao Ruby was taken aback for a moment, then turned her head and saw a hunched old woman holding a coral gold cane, followed by a sickly old man holding a string of Buddhist beads, muttering behind her. The little girl behind her was charming, so small, and had a beautiful demeanor. Her eyes were different from those of people in the central plains, and she was clearly of mixed race at a glance. Is it? Golden Flowers and Silver Leaves Chapter 007 Three Phenomena of Yunlong You are listening at NovelFull.audio Golden Flower Granny, Mr. Silver Leaf Zhao Ruby was taken aback, Mr. Silver Leaf. Isn't this the dead husband of Grandma Jinhua? So this mixed race little lowly. Isn't it Xiao Zhao? He hurried to eat tonic diet. It was a pity that he didn't eat it. Even in Kongtong sect, he couldn't eat such good tonic diet every day. He also secretly estimated that this tonic diet meal might not be less than 100 tails of silver, and a better family would spend more than 10 tails of silver a year. Zhao Ruby sighed inwardly, no wonder others said that he was poor in literature and rich in martial arts. It was indeed true. Practicing Taoism and martial arts are the same, and the wealth, methods, and land of the master couple are indispensable. Pushi. Xiao Zhao on the side, watching Zhao Ruby devour food so greedily, was very interesting. She was only four or five years old, and finally couldn't help but laugh. Mmm. Grandma Jinhua turned around and glared at Xiao Zhao, making her shudder like a cicada. She then used a dragon's head stick and clung it to the ground, shaking the earth like a mountain. What's going on? Chengking Zi, do you still want to run away now? Humph, you've already arrived here. Do you still want to leave? Golden Flower Granny's figure flashed and immediately stopped the shop owner outside the small shop, who was preparing to abandon the shop and flee, along with a rough cloth girl. You've been pretending for over a year, do you still want to escape? Grandma Jinhua's eyes were like lightning, staring at this vulgar boss with a series of sneers. Mr. Inya coughed a few times, and her voice of chanting Buddha became even lower. It's okay, it's okay. The shop owner sighed and tore off a piece of human skin mask on his face. He only saw a handsome middle dot aged man in his forties and fifties who appeared in front of everyone and grabbed the rough cloth girl behind him. Grandma Jinhua, I've already said that I can't cure the injuries of the wise couple. Why are you so aggressive? Jokes. Grandma Jinhua said in a domineering tone, can't we treat our couple's injuries well? So how do you make us search for treasures like Millennium Ginseng, and after receiving them, donate money and run away? Isn't it because I don't take the old lady seriously? Aren't I capable of killing people? Humph, Chengking Zi, you and the Butterfly Valley Doctor Immortal Hu Qingyo are known as the two great divine doctors in the world, and there is also a disease that you can't cure. Do you think that I am a demon and an outsider, intentionally doing this? Don't. Don't mother dot in dot law. The rough cloth girl struggled out, this doesn't care about my father's business. My father lied to my mother dot in dot law because of my illness. It doesn't matter about my father's business. My father is doing this to prolong my life. If you want to kill me, mother dot in dot law, just kill me. Hmm. Grandma Jinhua bullied her body with a palm, forcing the Chanking Zi to retreat and reveal the rough cloth girl. She grabbed the girl's arm and began to pulse, strange, strange. This is the legendary Nine In Ju Mai. This child is also pitiful, though. She shook her hand and immediately the rough cloth girl fell out. She was held by Chanking Zi and hurriedly looked at her, How is it? How is it? Have you been injured? Grandma Jinhua, you are also a famous martial arts expert. Why do you need to attack a child? Grandma Jinhua didn't answer and let out a cold snort. Chang Qingzi. Zhao Ruby stood by, slightly stunned. He knew that in addition to Hu Qingyo, 
there was also a divine doctor named Changting Zi in the martial arts world. It was said that he was from Changchun Valley and had excellent medical skills, but he had always been a divine dragon who could see the head but not the tail. He didn't want to meet him here. But the other party doesn't seem to know much about martial arts, do they? This is a strange thing. When wandering in the martial arts world, which one doesn't have some martial arts skills? And how did they provoke these two evil gods, Golden Flower and Silver Leaf? And the Nine Yin Ju Mai? Is there any other terminal illness like this? Zhao Ruby can comprehend the Ziang Wuzhen chapter, which has many inheritances from the southern sect, among which medical skills are naturally one of them. Are you treating or not treating the cold toxins on our bodies? Mr. Inya also opened his eyes and looked at Changqing Zi intently. This. Chang Qingzi looked at the golden flowers and silver leaves, her heart beating with drums. Although Changqing Zi, along with Hu Qingyo, is known as one of the two great divine doctors of the world, his expertise lies in health preservation, as well as some difficult and miscellaneous diseases. Changchun Valley, I believe, is a place for martial arts practitioners to stay away from, especially the injuries on the bodies of Jin Hua and Yin Yi. These are not simple injuries, but cold and poisonous. They couldn't control their high internal skills and hurt their lungs, which is why they coughed so much. From Chang Qingzi's perspective, it is natural to see that the cold poison on Mr. Silver Leaf's body is almost terminally ill. There is a hint of lethargy between his eyebrows, not because his internal skills are exquisite and he can suppress it for a while. However, his life will not be long. The golden flower granny only injured her lungs, but she will not do much. As long as she is careful and does not fight with others in the future, and takes good care of herself. He can say these things out loud. So you forced us to kill. Mr. Silver Leaf is full of murderous aura, not less than Grandma Golden Flower. Is Han Chinya a kind dot hearted and soft hearted person? In order to seek revenge, he dares to bear the light of Kunlun on his belly, and his mind is definitely not a kind person. Especially for Chang Qingzi, let them go to search for Millennium Jinseng. Is this Millennium Jinseng an ordinary product? It is a tribute from Goryeo to the Yuan court, and for this reason, the two of them fought against the Yuan court's henchmen for so long. In the end, the last thing to say is, I can't treat it, so we can get over it. There is no such cheap thing in the world. Since you don't have this ability, I'll take you on the road. Mr. Silver Leaf's murderous plan was revealed, and his family knew about their own affairs. He knew that his vitality was gradually fading away. Since he was going to die, no one else could think of a better life. The Buddha pearl in his hand popped out, almost no less than any hidden weapon, and it would take the life of this father and daughter in a long time. Cicada. Be careful. Changking Zi pushed away the rough cloth girl, trying to block the Buddha pearl with her own body. However, before that, a figure flashed and immediately used a wonderful technique to create a few Buddha beads. With a flick of its hand, the beads flew out and were nailed to the wall. This incident immediately stunned Jinhua and Inya. Seeking death. Mr. Inyi saw someone take his hidden weapon, but it was a young man eating next to him. With their eyesight, they could tell that this person's body was thin and he didn't seem to know martial arts, nor did he look at him. These two things combined, coupled with his serious illness and rebellious personality, he immediately became furious and slapped Xiao Ruby. Not good. Compared to top-notch experts like Jin Hua and Yin Yi, Xiao Ruby's strength is not inferior to tens of thousands. Just now, when he took on the hidden weapon, on the one hand, Mr. Yin Yi knew that Chang Qingzi's cultivation was not high and he did not exert all his strength, and on the other hand, his technique of taking on the hidden weapon was very exquisite. Now, facing Mr. Yin Ye's attack, he quickly retreated and jumped into mid-air. This made Mr. Silver Leaf sneer. Being in the air is the easiest way to become a target. With one palm strike, he prepared to immediately kill Zhao Ruby. However, what I didn't expect was that Zhao Ruby, in the void, seemed to be able to borrow strength, 
like a bird. With a slight turn, he dodged this move and quickly grabbed the father and daughter of Changqin. He quickly retreated and said, Why do you two kill innocent people so indiscriminately? It goes against the demeanor of the two masters. Yunlong Sansien. Kid, are you from the Kongtong sect? Grandma Jinhua and Mr. Inye spoke in unison. In today's martial arts world, apart from Wudong's ladder cloud vertical, only the cloud dragon three manifestations of the Kong Tong sect are capable of turning in mid-air with lightness skills. It is said that the three appearances of the cloud dragon, if practiced to the extreme, can make three turns in the air, which is very mysterious. But in the Kong Tong sect, few people practice this lightness skill because it requires too much internal power. It does not require a large amount of internal power, but absolute control of internal power. Otherwise, if there is any deviation in mid-air, you will become a paralyzed person. Only Zhao Ruby practiced alchemy, and this true qi was already intertwined with his own life and integrated into one. He could control it as he wanted, and only then did he learn this determined lightness skill. Zhao Ruby, a disciple of the Kong Tong sect, has met the golden flower granny in the silver leaf master. Zhao Ruby was polite and pinched the other person, knowing that they were senior experts who were not good at dealing with the younger generation. I have heard of the two senior names for a long time, and when I saw them today, they truly live up to their reputation. Humph. Grandma Jinhua snorted coldly and remained silent. Recently, the Kong Tong sect has been thriving in the martial arts world, and the strength of the Kong Tong five elders has been greatly improved. It is said that the leader, Guan Neng, was even more alone. He spent seven days and seven nights killing the desert north twin monsters who were causing trouble in the martial arts world. With a seven damage punch, he almost reached the peak of his cultivation. There is naturally Zhao Ruby's credit for this. He used his elixir power to treat the injuries of the five elders of Kong Tong. In addition, over the years, the five elders of Kong Tong have gradually adapted to the damage of the seven damage fist and their injuries have improved. Their own strength has also improved significantly. Unfortunately, his elixir skills have not reached the level of perfection, otherwise the strength of the five elders of Kong Tong would definitely enter a super first dot class level. She is also not good at provoking the Kong Tong sect, especially as he can see from his eyes. With that move just now, this disciple's true energy is not inferior to her, and she is the true disciple of the Kong Tong sect. It is said that there are only a few true disciples of the Kong Tong sect. If he is injured, it is feared that the five elders of the Kong Tong sect will chase them like crazy dogs. She is naturally not afraid in the past. Unfortunately, they have recently offended Yuan Ting. Yuan Go has captured many experts chasing after them, which has angered the Kong Tong sect. Isn't this adding fuel to the fire? What's going on? The disciples of the Kong Tong sect also want to meddle in their own affairs. Do you have this ability? Mr. Yin Yi looked coldly at Zhao Ruby. Little brother, hurry up and leave. Changking Zi looked gratefully at Zhao Ruby and said, We met by chance. Little brother's kindness is unforgettable to me, and I'm afraid I won't be able to repay it in this life. I hope to repay you in the next life. Chapter 008 Solitary Care You are listening at NovelFull.audio Zhao Ruby rolled his eyes and realized that even the ancient people of Mao hoped to say great kindness without expecting anything in return, only in the afterlife to repay the clouds, without any novelty. Besides, he got involved in the matter of gold, silver, and leaves. Is that so easy to get away with? From the Kong Tong sect. Humph, I'm not going to provoke you. You've actually provoked me. Grandma Jinhua snorted coldly, her coral gold cane clung to the ground with a huge amount of true energy, causing cracks to appear on the ground. You little brat, how dare you interfere with the old lady's affairs? How dare you? Zhao Ruby clenched his fists and said, Grandma Jinhua, Mr. Inya, is a formidable figure in the martial arts world. As a young man, 
I have not yet made any progress in my studies. How dare I be reckless? My actions are nothing more than to harm an innocent person. Listening to my mother. In law's words, I believe it must be for the purpose of curing illness. Why do we need to take human lives? Little brother. Chang Qingzi cautioned carefully, urging Zhao Ruby to leave. However, how could Zhao Ruby leave? Both of them are top notch figures in terms of gold, silver, and leaves. In addition, Jin Hua's mother. In law is skilled in the western regions, which is strange and unpredictable, and even more difficult to deal with. These two are also old martial artists. When he unleashed the three manifestations of the cloud dragon, they each occupied their respective positions and blocked their own paths. Where could he go? Although Zhao Ruby is a young and inexperienced young man who has just emerged from the martial arts world, he can clearly see that if he goes, he will definitely have a dead end. Only when he flows down can he have a chance to survive. Golden Flower Granny, this young man is also skilled in medicine. He knows that both of you have been infected with a cold poison that has invaded your lungs. Mr. Silverleaf is even more aware that he is probably in a very cold place and has lost his martial arts protection, causing the cold to invade and not be eliminated in time. In the early years, he could use his own martial arts to forcibly suppress it. However, this cold poison and neem poison have entered your lungs and become entangled between the five and six organs. Watching Zhao Ruby talk confidently, both gold, silver, and leaves look at him with disdain. I don't think this is not how brilliant Zhao Ruby's medical skills are, but what he said in combination with the original book, The Battle of Gold, Silver, Leaves, Clear Water, and Cold Pool. Not bad, kid. Even Changqing Zi can't do anything about it, can't you? Grandma Jinhua stomped her cane and her emotions fluctuated. As long as you have a way, you can negotiate for them, and the old lady also agreed. This. Zhao Ruby sighed and said, I'm afraid the kid's medical skills are not as good as Mr. Changqing's. Are you a leisure old lady? Grandma Jinhua is furious. Wait a minute, Grandma Jinhua, why are you so anxious? Zhao Ruby quickly explained when he saw the malevolent aura on Jinhua and Inya's face. I don't know if Grandma has heard of the Nine Yang Manual. The Nine Yang Manual Mr. Silver Leaf paused slightly as he showed signs of taking action. Are you talking about using martial arts to dispel cold toxins? Humph, nowadays in the martial arts world, only Zhang Laodao from Wudang Mountain has this skill. Isn't that right? Zhao Ruby quickly pulled the topic aside. Since we're talking about Wudang, we also need to talk about the Nine Yang Manual. The Nine Yang True Qi cultivated from the Nine Yang Manual is the ultimate nemesis of all cold poisons. But if you say that Zhang Zhenren can dispel the cold qi in your body, that's not entirely true. Zhang Zhenren's martial arts are unparalleled, but she ultimately only obtains a small part of the Nine Yang Manual. He also revealed a secret in the martial arts world to save people. From the origin of the Nine Yang scripture, we talked about the grudges and grievances of Master Zhu Yuan, as well as the establishment of Wudang and Amei, all of which revolved around where the Nine Yang scripture was located. Humph, the Nine Yang scripture is already lost. What's the point of telling me these things? Grandma Jin Hua was greatly moved, but when she heard that the Nine Yang scripture no longer existed, she sneered slightly. Do you think you can deceive the old lady by telling me a few anecdotes that I don't know? Zhao Ruby hurriedly explained, Grandma, don't worry. Although the Nine Yang scripture was lost, when Master Zhu Yuan passed away, three people still heard his last scripture. One was the colorless Zen master of Shaolin, the founder of the Amei sect, Guo Xianghua, the female hero. Another was the current Zhang Zhenren, who has evolved into three different schools of Nine Yang Gong. Among them, the colorless Zen master obtained one essence, the Ame sect obtained one bow, and the Wudang Nine Yang Gong obtained one pure. Mr. Silver Leaf and the cold poison on Grandma's body, although powerful, but ultimately, it can't compare to many Xianming divine palms, can it? 
When Zhang Xinren was young, he could use his nine yang skill to restrain the hundred damaged Taoist who used Xianming divine palms. I believe that the nine yang skill of these three sects can help you eliminate the cold poison in your body. This is not a bad thing. Chengking Zi frowned and said, By the way, by the way, what I have always thought of is to use acupuncture and medicine to treat cold and poison. I have forgotten about people in the martial arts world, and the most important thing is to have a body of martial arts. The Nine Yang Manual, which is the most yang, can restrain the Xianming Divine Palm. So there is a way to treat the Nine Yin Ju Meridian that has fallen in snow. Since you know these stories, do you know where the Nine Yang Manual has fallen? Zhao Ruby frowned. This old guy really doesn't know what's going on. What do you want me to say? Can I say that the Nine Yang Manual is in the valley below the Hongmei Mountain Villa in Kunlun Mountain, inside the belly of a white ape? This is not bullshit, especially when it comes to the appearance of gold, silver, and leaves. Can you say it yourself? Mr. Changqing is joking. The Nine Yang Scripture is the treasure of the martial arts world, how can I know? These illusions were just what I learned after listening to my master and his disciples. Zhao Ruby avoided the importance and lightly exposed this topic. Golden Flower Granny, it's just that the nine yang scriptures of the three sects are not good. However, by integrating the nine yang scriptures of the three sects, one can obtain 50.6% of the nine yang scriptures. It's more than enough to heal the cold toxins on your body. I also invite the two seniors, in consideration of the virtue of good life in heaven, to accumulate blessings and shade for the younger generation and let go of this father and daughter pair. How about it meanwhile, Xiao Zhao beside her, as she heard Zhao Ruby talking confidently, especially with the hope of healing from the cold poison on her parents, her beautiful eyes moved and she looked up and down at Zhao Ruby. Father. Father. The rough cloth girl, who was called Drifting Snow, suddenly trembled all over, her face turned pale, and she was shivering all over. Drifting Snow Changking Zi was taken aback and quickly took out a bottle of sheep fat jade from his pocket. He poured out a pill, and as soon as the pill came out of the bottle, a medicinal fragrance spread around. He quickly fed it to the young girl, and she looked a bit human. Mother Mother in dot law Xiao Zhao couldn't help pleading as she looked at the sister in front of her in such pain. However, in a moment of urgency, she forgot her name and quickly changed her mind under the glare of Golden Flower's mother. In law. Mother. In law, Grandpa, this little sister is so pitiful. Can you spare them, okay? Cough. Mr. Silver Leaf looked at the jade bottle in Changking Zi's hand and said, is this the medicine developed from our millennium-old ginseng? This. This is the snow-melting pill. Chang Qingzi sighed, this is my main ingredient, which is millennium ginseng. Then, I extracted a century-old red fruit and a large amount of precious hot and dry medicine, which merged into a furnace. Finally, it was developed specifically for the purpose of prolonging life through drifting snow. I, as an old man, cannot die at all. However, for the sake of drifting snow, I cannot die temporarily. I used millennium ginseng as medicine, and only then did I see that more than a hundred have died. There are more than twenty grains here, which can rival that millennium ginseng. Please spare my life, two young masters. For the sake of his daughter, Changking Zi has always been indifferent and always bows his head towards gold, silver, and leaves. These twenty snowmelt pills, although they cannot cure the cold poison on your body, can suppress it for four or five years. And with this young man's method, you can definitely remove the cold poison. Changking Zi has a sincere expression on her face. Okay. As Mr. Silver Leaf recited the Buddha's words, he walked up to Changking Zi and took the twenty snowmelt pills. He patted the shoulder of the missing parent and son, saying, Very good, very good. In this way, we can also be considered as two equal. For the sake of this high-ranking Kong Tong, this matter is written off. Zhao Ruby was overjoyed and finally managed to handle these two difficult guys. 
Let's go. Grandma Jinhua held on to Xiao Zhao with one hand and quickly left behind Mr. Inye. Only Xiao Zhao was interested and turned around to look at Zhao Ruby. Chang Zi's stagnant golden and silver leaves suddenly collapsed on the ground in the direction they were leaving. Dad! Piao Xue quickly supported her father and shouted. Zhao Ruby also noticed something was wrong with Chang Qingzi. His eyebrows were covered with a touch of frost, and he suddenly understood that when Mr. Silver Leaf left just now, what happened to Chang Qingzi was definitely not simple. His skills were too shallow and his vision was insufficient, so he did not see the mystery behind it. But it turned out to be Mr. Silver Leaf, who used his own cold poison and combined his palm power to create a vicious method called Xieni Nero. His greatest skill was to seize life opportunities. At that time, he didn't show it, but in a moment or two, he immediately invaded the opponent's organs and organs, making it difficult to save the medicine stone. How could he let Chang Zi survive after playing a prank on their golden flowers and silver leaves? Just now he was just pretending. Why didn't he kill Piao Xue to prevent future troubles and eliminate them all? This is just because Piao Xue has a 9 in Ju meridian on her body, with a maximum life of 5 or 6 years. She is born in the tendons and meridians, which are blocked by in Qi and cannot be cultivated. In addition, her life is not long, so he naturally doesn't worry about Piao Xue seeking revenge. What Chang Qing Zi exhaled in his mouth was cold air, thanks to his health-preserving skills as a doctor, he did not die suddenly under the arrow of Xian Yin. No. Drifting snow, I can't do it anymore. Melting snow pills can't save me. Chang Qing Zi said weakly, Enong, this little Enong. On. Zhao Ruby looked at this human tragedy with sadness in his heart and sighed, hating that his strength was not enough. Senior, if you have any orders, just say them. As long as Zhao Ruby can do it, he will not refuse. This matter is like a wall, if not. Xiao En Gong, don't worry about this. It's all fate. Chang Qingzi saw it through. The only thing I can't rest assured of when I'm about to die is the little girl. I hope that after I leave, En Gong will take in the little girl and become a servant in the future, all at the young master's command. Piao Xue, call the young master quickly. Young master. With tears streaming down her eyes, Piao Xue knew that her father was arranging his affairs, feeling extremely sad. However, she was also afraid that her father would not be able to rest assured and walk unsteadily. She also wished Zhao Ruby a happy ending. Hurry up, please. Zhao Ruby knew this was Chang Zi and was worried that his orphan daughter would not survive in a chaotic world. He also knew that he was a legitimate disciple of a prestigious sect, and this was entrusted to him before his death. Senior, but if you have a request, Ruby will not refuse. In the future, I will treat you as a brother and sister. Okay, okay, little old man, rest assured. Little old man has nothing to repay, and his medical skills are not shallow when it comes to salary. I have a medical book from Changchun Valley, as well as some Johnson Johnson health techniques, and I will give you the salary as a gift. Please don't delay it. A blush flashed on Changking Zi's face, and he returned to the scene. He escaped from his arms and handed a small bag to Zhao Ruby, but his movement stopped and he passed away suddenly. Chapter 009 Tombs of the Living Dead You are listening at NovelFull.audio Cold Moon A Solitary Tomb Zhao Ruby also paid to buy a coffin for Chang Zi, dig a grave, and hastily bury it. In times of chaos, having a coffin for burial is a luxury. Drifting snow on the side, dressed in mourning, tears streaming down her face, making Zhao Ruby's heart ache. Looking at this orphan girl, Zhao Ruby also patted her forehead and agreed happily. How could she take care of her? How can I settle such a sick seedling, not only in times of chaos, but also in times of peace? Young Master Piao Xue buried her father and couldn't help feeling sad. Don't worry about Piao Xue. 
Kiao Xue is already a useless person. Why don't she die here and be buried with her father? As she spoke, she couldn't stop feeling sad in her heart, and a chill came out of her body. Frost appeared on her eyebrows. Zhao Ruby was greatly surprised and quickly had luck to use his martial arts skills to dispel the cold in her blood, so as not to freeze her. Don't waste your effort, my nine in Jumai cannot be cured. Kiao Xue trembled all over, trying to break free from Zhao Ruby's hand. Unexpectedly, Zhao Ruby tapped her acupoints and infused her body with her own Dan Qi. Originally drifting in the snow, the stubborn coldness in his body was immediately suppressed by Zhao Ruby, and he suddenly regained some of his elixir energy, causing a surge of energy all over his body. Even the golden pill in his Dantian was a bit pure, which made him extremely happy. Good, good, Kiao Xue, don't give up. Your brother Zhao's Ziang Wuzhen chapter, if you can cultivate to the point of five or six turns, it will not be inferior to the the Nine Yang Manual. In order to solve the Nine Yin Jumai, you can still do it. Zhao Ruby comforted. However, the joy in my heart is inevitable. The Nine Yin Ju Meridian is a condition in which a person's innate Yin energy blocks the tendons and meridians, causing all meridians to be eroded by cold energy, causing the balance of Yin and Yang in the human body to be lost, and extinguishing the hot blood in the heart. Naturally, death is not far away. But for Zhao Ruby, this cold energy is actually a good thing. The innate vitality contained in it, as well as the yin and cold energy, are undoubtedly good materials for refining his Dan Gong. Zhao Ruby cultivated this purple sun enlightenment chapter and forged the Golden Elixir, the realm of the Golden Elixir, on the other hand, has nine transformations, each of which has a wonderful effect. According to Zhao Ruby's calculation, practicing until the ninth turn may seem like a true immortal. However, in the southern sect, even the five ancestors of the southern sect, they only reach the level of practicing until the fifth or sixth turn. The white jade cicada, who achieved great success in the path of the golden elixir, only reached the seventh turn at most. As for the following two turns, they were deduced from the southern sect's five ancestors by obtaining the alchemy scripture of LV Chunyang, the founder of the inner elixir, and combining it with practice. And the first two or three turns are just accumulating Dan Qi, but the first three turns can help people reach a general first dot class level. After the fourth turn, it is about refining the power of the elixir, making the golden elixir more brilliant and closer to immortality. Among them, it is also about extracting qi, absorbing the energy of yin and yang, and refining the golden elixir to make it pure. However, if the yin and cold energy in Piao Xue's body can be introduced into her own body like a method, not only will it not harm herself, but it can also increase her strength. He has only reached the point of two rounds of cultivation now, and with such pure vitality, he has refined his own golden elixir. I believe his achievements will definitely surpass several generations of ancestors of the southern sect. Thinking of his pride, Zhao Ruby danced and danced. However, as he watched the falling in love with Piao Xue, he also stopped his actions, packed his luggage, brought the items left by Changking Zi for him and Piao Xue, and rode away on the same horse as Piao Xue. He still won't give up now and will go on a trip to the ancient tomb sect. Zhao Ruby settled down in a small village not far from the ancient tomb sect, prepared snow-melting pills for her, and told her not to wander around. Snow was very sensible, and after Zhao Ruby repeatedly promised not to abandon her, she didn't cry or make a fuss. She said she would wait for him to come back here. Zhao Ruby was deeply moved, and she just prepared some things and went to Zhongnan Mountain to check. Although he knew that the ancient tomb sect was a tomb of the living dead at the Chuanjin site, it was not so easy to find it. He spent three days searching for the lock of the tomb of the living dead, and also explored which pool. That's it. Zhao Ruby was meticulous in his thinking, he he, others can't notice it, but I can see that although the population here is rare, it is obvious that someone has passed by. It must be a member of the ancient tomb sect who also wants to buy food. It is difficult for some people to sell their own products in the tombs of the living dead. 
For the sake of safety, Zhao Ruby lurked here for a period of time, and when nothing came out directly, he also took advantage of the night and used this water pool to go to the tomb of the living dead. You should know that for this day, he devoted himself to resting his breath holding technique and practicing swimming, and finally had a place to use in the water, he attached his inner strength between his eyes, saw the flow of the waterway and a dark opening, and couldn't help but swim over. He also stretched out his head and found himself in a basement suppressing his own ecstasy, he knew he had entered the tomb of the living dead. He also opened the oilcloth bag next to him, changed into clean clothes to avoid exposing any traces, and suddenly appeared in such a dark place. His eyes kept adapting, and with his alchemy, he was extremely wonderful, gradually achieving the goal of night vision. Zhao Ruby tiptoed towards this passage. According to the original book, the fragments of the The Nine In Manual are not far away. He also looks around with his eyes, and more importantly, he can restrain his breath and avoid bumping into the people of the ancient tomb sect. It seems that the woman in yellow shirt recorded in Heaven Reliance defeated Zhou Jirua, who was cultivating the The Nine In Manual, with the nine in white bone claw after coming out. Obviously, she has cultivated the orthodox the nine in manual, and there are some experts in the ancient tomb sect who have to be guarded against. But logically speaking, they live in the tomb of the living dead, and here are the descendants of the ancient tomb who are under the coffin after their death. There are not many chances to bump into them, this is also one of his major dependencies. Yes, that's it. Zhao Ruby finally found the fragments of the The Nine In Manual after a long walk. Fortunately, the descendant of the ancient tomb sect did not destroy these secret collections in a cruel way. Breath Closing and Acupoint Resolving Method Soul Moving Method Demon Subduing Fist He also looked at it all the way. Many of them were fragments of the The Nine In Manual, but most of them were used by Wang Chongyang to crack the ancient tomb school kung fu, so this is incomplete. However, although Zhao Ruby coveted these things, what he most coveted was still the Yi Jin forging bone chapter. His eyes kept moving, and finally he saw a passage. Yi Jin forging bone chapter. Oh my goodness, I finally found it. Zhao Ruby was overjoyed. For him, the most precious thing in the The Nine In Manual is not what records the martial arts moves of the Ming sect, nor the so dot called internal mental skills, but also its Sanskrit general outline. For him, the most important thing is this article of changing muscles and bones you should know that Huang Shang was just a scholar, still in his thirties and forties. His muscles and bones had already formed, but unfortunately, he eventually became a great master. His greatest reliance was on the Eugene Forging Bone Chapter. This Eugene Forging Bone Chapter can improve a person's muscles and bones, and its value may only be compared to the Shaolin School's Eugene and Shisui Jing after all, he has Ziang Wuzhen, which is no less than the Nine Yin Manual. As long as he perseveres, he can definitely become a generation of experts. Now what is less is the exercise of muscles and bones. With this article of easy muscle and bone forging, it will be no problem for him to surpass the cultivation of the The Nine Yin Manual. As for what he wants to seize the full text of the The Nine Yin Manual, he doesn't care. He knows that true divine skills do not lie in abundance, but in refinement. Mastering one skill is enough. Upon seeing the scriptures he had been dreaming of, Zhao Ruby suppressed his excitement and worked hard to memorize them. One of the benefits of Zhao Ruby's rebirth is that he cares. He never forgets it. This is also one of his skills. However, when practicing martial arts, he couldn't be careless at all, so after remembering it four or five times, he forgot about the time and place, which triggered the Eugene Forging Bone chapter. Most of the nutrients in his bones and muscles are absorbed by the golden pill, and there is no divine skill level mental method that can match it to refine his bones and muscles. If he continues to grow like this, he will eventually become deformed. However, this problem has finally been solved. The Eugene Forging Bone Chapter is a magical technique for improving muscles and bones. Practicing it can give birth to a soft chi that improves muscles and bones. However, 
Zhao Ruby doesn't need such trouble with nourishing qi. He directly emitted a dan qi with the golden elixir, and according to the method of the Yi Jin forging bone chapter, it was transformed into the true qi of Yi Jin forging bone, infiltrating into his own muscles and bones. In an instant, Zhao Ruby felt his muscles and bones holding on to the slightest breath. As his muscles and bones moved, he laughed in his blood and dissipated heat. His muscles and bones were warm, as if soaking in hot water, with all his limbs and bones, never feeling uncomfortable. Great! Zhao Ruby had never felt so comfortable before. He used the Yijin forging bones section to refine his muscles and bones, but there was a slight variation in his body. The true qi he refined was even more pure than that of the e gene forging bone section. By using this method to refine his body, he made faster progress it seemed as if for almost six or seven years, the oppression of his body had been released, and he was in a mysterious and mysterious state all over, with a feeling of ethereal, as if he was about to fly, and as if with his eyes closed, the surrounding environment was all under his perception. Hmm someone. Zhao Ruby quickly opened his eyes in the midst of a beautiful scene and said, Someone is coming. Chapter 010 Descendants of Ancient Tombs You are listening at NovelFull.audio Someone Zhao Ruby immediately woke up from the mysterious and mysterious realm, restrained his breath, and hid on the side, afraid to act recklessly. However, he also knew that the opponent's martial arts were not very powerful, and with his perception, he could perceive their existence. I'm so annoyed, I'm so annoyed. I practice martial arts every day and can't go out to play. After Zhao Ruby had finished dodging, he heard an impatient voice muttering, why don't I sneak back while they're practicing? He also saw a seven or eight year old girl not far away, dressed in light colored clothes, young, and wearing authentic Taoist internal skills. She had almost entered the room, with a hint of precious light on her face. This was a posture of internal energy feedback, nourishing the body, and nurturing the spirit. Her every move was light and powerful, obviously excellent in light skills. Between her steps, there was no waste, like a light cat walking on the ground, not causing any dust. She was excited, like a thief, ready to leave the ancient tomb. Can it be? Zhao Ruby has a strange expression on her face. Is this mischievous young girl, who appeared in the heaven-reliant world for less than a few minutes but left a deep impression on people in her yellow shirt? However, compared to her dignified, beautiful, mature and steady demeanor when she grew up, now she seems to be a mischievous girl. No wonder she has undergone 18 transformations. Zhao Ruby cultivates the chapter of Ziang Wuzhen. Naturally, he can clearly feel that the other party cultivates the authentic Xian Men internal skill. I'm afraid that he built the foundation with the internal skill of the Chuanjin sect. Then he cultivates the chapter of Yijin forging bones. He is young and has accumulated extraordinary internal power. It seems that this the Nine Yin manual is really good, but he has the chapter of Ziang Wuzhen. He is confident that he can surpass the other party who cultivates the the Nine Yin manual. But where are we going? My parents said, it's a chaotic time outside, and there's no such thing as changing children and eating. When I don't have the strength, I shouldn't go out casually, but I'm already very strong, humph. As Zhao Ruby was complaining, the pale colored girl tilted her head and muttered to herself lovingly, why don't we secretly play in this Zhongnan mountain? Unfortunately, according to my parents, there was still a sect on the mountain when my grandparents were young. If they were still alive, I could go find them to play. Unfortunately, they're gone, and we can only go find the little squirrels and animals to play with. If Xiao Ruby were a pale colored girl, it would make her laugh. She is a girl full of curiosity and yet also a gino. What person? But he underestimated the people in the ancient tomb of life too much. Their perception was underestimated. With a slight movement and a light smile, the girl immediately discovered them and said, Come out. The girl's fingers were like hooks, and she grabbed Zhao Ruby's spot. Not good, Nine White Bone Claw. Zhao Ruby was shocked. 
He saw the wind coming from the claws, covering his whole body in several directions, and even his way was blocked. Moreover, the claw technique was very fierce, but in the hands of the other party, it was open and aboveboard, without any evil. Obviously, the other party was practicing the most authentic way. Immediately he knew that it was the Nineen White Bone Claw recorded in the Nineen Manual, but he was also flustered, did not retreat but advance, and bullied himself into close combat with the other party. His fists were solidified, his moves were solemn, and he struck with each move in one go, resulting in a very heavy blow. This is the most basic the Dao fist technique of the Kong Tong sect. It is a disciple of the Kong Tong sect who came to refine their body, increase strength, and cultivate true qi. The moves are just a few, but they can be used in Zhao Ruby's hands. However, they are majestic, with a mountain-like realm and one move in one move. They split the moves with the Nineen White Bone Claw, and in the darkness, they directly fought three moves, each pushing away. At his age, combined with the true energy accumulated in the Ziang Wuzhen chapter, he is stronger than a girl. Therefore, in the competition of strength, he temporarily has the upper hand, and there is also a girl who uses this nine-een white bone claw with exquisite moves. He did not fully understand the cruelty of the nine-een white bone claw, but instead delayed her strength. Are you a thief? You're here to steal from us. The girl in the ancient tomb was extremely bored. When she saw Zhao Ruby, she felt as if she had seen a fun toy and was extremely happy. Wow, I feel that you are secretly learning the martial arts of our ancient tomb sect. You have traces of the Eugene Forging Bone chapter on your body, and you are here to steal martial arts. I have heard that if you are a thief, you should be arrested and given to the government, but I won't send you to the government. I want you to stay as a servant for me so that I don't have to worry about no one playing. This girl was full of enthusiasm. Her nineen white bone claw didn't reach home, so she gave up directly and threw her hands like drumsticks at Zhao Ruby fiercely. Beauty's fist technique. Is this red jade drumming? Zhao Ruby knew that this was the legitimate fist technique of the ancient tomb sect. The beauty fist technique was created by the founder of the ancient tomb sect, Lin Chaoying. Each move in the martial arts is a simulation of an ancient beauty, incorporating the ever-dot-changing charm and demeanor of a beauty that has existed for thousands of years. The names of the moves are extremely poetic, such as Red Jade Drumming, Red Brush Knight Running, Green Pearl Falling from the Tower, Wenji Returning to Han, Red Thread Stealing Box, Mulan Bending Bao, Banji Writing Poems, China Stealing Medicine, Man Waist Slim, Li Hua Dressing, Pingji Needle God, Cheesy Supporting Heart, Luo Shen Micro Step, Chao Ling Cutting Nose Each move comes from a historical illusion, showcasing either the gradual growth of Lotus or the reliance on Willows, defeating the enemy in a graceful and charming manner. Yang Guizheng used this boxing technique to outsmart the second disciple of the Golden Will Dharma King, Darba, who was incredibly powerful, demonstrating its impressive power. Although this girl cannot compare to Yang Guo, who has just emerged from the mountains, in the divine sculpture, she still has a strong foundation and is much stronger than Yang Guo. After all, Yang Guo, who studied martial arts in the divine sculpture, did not follow any systematic approach, and her techniques were very chaotic. In the end, she did not rely on the legacy of seeking defeat alone, practicing in the sea, and finally integrating her own techniques. Otherwise, she would still not be called the Five Wonders of Chinese and Western Madness. After Yang Guo, the descendants of the ancient tomb sect all practiced Orthodox Taoist internal skills. Only after their internal skills entered the hall and room, did they switch to other methods of cultivation. So, this girl is quite adept at using the beauty boxing technique. Each move is unique and charming, all with the charm of a beautiful woman. Although she is young, she also possesses the capital of a beautiful woman, with the genes of a beautiful young man named Yang Guo and a top-dot-notch beauty named Xiao Longnu. Of course, the descendants of the ancient tomb have superior genes, and their boxing skills are also fascinating. But Xiao Ruby is not a good person either. 
His Dao Fist technique can be said to be that there is no one in the Kong Tong sect who can fight as well as him. After all, he avoids being recognized for his identity, so he uses this basic boxing technique. After all, in the martial arts world, stealing martial arts is a taboo in many sections. Like the Shaolin sect, Zhang Sanfeng practiced a set of Arhat Fist that year, which was not recognized by the Shaolin sect. The Shaolin sect ignored his great achievements for Shaolin and hurt the killers. One can imagine how great his views are. This is a bad habit in the martial arts world, let alone Zhao Ruby secretly entering the ancient tomb sect to learn martial arts. Being caught, the lightest thing is to abolish his martial arts, the most important thing is to kill him, even the Kong Tong sect cannot stand up for him. With the addition of the ancient tomb sect, it can be considered a behemoth in the heaven-reliant world. Its top-dot-level energy is extremely powerful, and it is inevitable that Zhao Ruby does not hide his martial arts traces. Although he uses basic skills, the more basic he is, the more he is, the more he has honed his skills. In addition, over the past decade, Zhao Ruby's ability to penetrate deep into his bones, as well as the vision bestowed upon him by time travel, can clearly analyze the loopholes in the opponent's moves. Pop pop. After exchanging dozens of moves with this girl, Zhao Ruby also knew that she couldn't stay here for long. She immediately used her own body to break free from this girl's moves and jumped into the pool, ready to escape. If you want to leave, don't think. This girl has been fighting with Zhao Ruby for so long, and I can't even tell her background. Although she is young, her parents and grandfather are martial arts masters who have collected a lot of martial arts from various sections. However, I can't tell Zhao Ruby's martial arts skills, so I immediately chased after her. Both of them were in the water pool, constantly fighting each other, but there was resistance from the water in the pool. Even if a girl knew how to hold her breath, her lung capacity was not as big as Zhao Ruby's. After fighting for less than half an hour, she was unable to continue. In addition, she often stayed in ancient tombs and was not very good at swimming. Under intense exercise, the girl suddenly had a muscle cramp and her body fell. Zhao Ruby quickly broke free from her and landed on the shore. However, he hadn't seen this girl emerge from the pool for a long time, and he also sensed signs of cramping in the water. Not good. Which little girl, isn't she drowning? It's also possible that after fighting for so long, if it weren't for me having the Purple Sun Enlightenment chapter, I couldn't bear it, let alone her. It's really troublesome. Zhao Ruby's mind was not so bad yet, so he jumped directly into the water pool. When he saw the pale girl sinking at the bottom of the pool, he quickly picked her up and floated her out of sleep. However, this girl had already gone into shock, and he was also eager to remove water from her lungs and perform cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Before the unconscious girl could truly recover, she hurriedly used artificial respiration to help the other person clear their breath. Gradually, the girl under him regained some consciousness, as if suddenly seeing a man doing many embarrassing things to herself. The ancient girl, although young, matured earlier than a man, as if she had realized something, with a hint of crimson on her face. Finally woke up. Zhao Ruby felt the girl's heartbeat recover and breathed a sigh of relief. Little girl, hee hee, you can't catch me. This time, I took the Eugene Forging Bone chapter. If there is a chance, I will definitely repay your ancient tomb sect well. I'm leaving. He raised a pile of work for the girl again, set up some traps, and then prepared to leave. You. Who are you? The girl was still very weak and grabbed her hand towards Zhao Ruby. However, Zhao Ruby dodged and avoided the girl, disappearing into the moonlight. He walked too full, not realizing that he had something with him that fell to the ground. After several hours, the girl finally regained her strength and saw a jade pendant on the ground. She quickly picked it up and looked at the distant night sky, saying, Humph, I know who you are. Sooner or later, I will seek revenge for your humiliation towards me today. In the afterglow of the fire, her cheeks turned crimson, and she tightly grasped the jade pendant in her own mouth, 
as if feeling his body temperature. 